Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free the Sheeple movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. CBN directs banks to close account of cryptocurrency traders. Now this is the front page of Linda Ikeji's uh, blog. You can also find the story um, on Instablog. Let me get my other phone. CBN directs banks to shut down the account of those into cryptocurrency. Uh, Bitcoin, if you go to Twitter right now, uh, CBN governor is trending at number one. Eritrea is trending at number four. Bitcoin was trending earlier on. Bitcoin was trending at number seven. And SARS at number eight. CBN at number 10. Naira at number 12. Piggy Vest. Binance. Luno were all trending earlier on today. Let me read one of the stories for you, preferably from a newspaper. So that at least I can, my information can be traced somewhere. So, um, no newspaper has published this yet. Uh... Okay, BBC News Pigeon says cryptocurrency. Why CBN one close account of Dogecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other crypto traders, and waiting it mean for them? So um, that's the only website where you could find it. So I'll just reference Linda Ikeji's blog because right now she's one of the biggest blogs in Nigeria according to Alexa's ratings. And when I'm done reading, I will tell you what this means to me. Henry the Grey just took his COVID-19 shot. Woohoo! So, story has gone down a little just the way everything trends in Nigeria and all of a sudden... It looks like old news. So CBN directs banks to close accounts of cryptocurrency traders. The Central Bank of Nigeria has directed banks to close accounts of persons or entities involved in cryptocurrency transactions within their systems. Now, this is from Linda Ikeji's blog. The Apex Bank gave the directive in a circular issued today, February 5th, and the circular was addressed to all deposit money banks, DMBs, non-financial institutions, NBFIs, and other financial institutions, OFIs. In January 2017, the CBN had in a statement release described Bitcoin, Litecoin, and other as digital currencies used largely in terrorism finances and money laundering we've had terrorism in nigeria for how long was it financed by bitcoin also in february 2018 the apex bank warned nigerians against trading in such digital currencies stating that should any transaction with such currencies collapse they will be they won't be able to seek any redress okay agreed but shouldn't that risk be mine to take The statement released today by Belo Hassan, the Director for Banking uh, Supervision, and Musa Jima, Director of the Payment System Management Department, reads in part. Let me read it to you. In fact, let me read the whole circular to you according to what was posted. The Central Bank of Nigeria CBN Circular 
of January 12, 2017. They put the reference there. Which caution deposit money banks, DMBs, non-bank financial institutions, MBFIs, other financial institutions, OFIs, and members of the public on the risk associated with transactions in cryptocurrency. Further to earlier regulatory directives on the subject, the bank hereby wishes to remind regulated institutions that dealing in cryptocurrencies or facilitating payments for cryptocurrency exchanges is prohibited. According to all DMBs, NBFIs, and OFIs, they are directed to identify persons and or entities transacting in or operating cryptocurrency exchanges within their systems and ensure that such accounts are closed immediately. Please note that breaches of this directive will attract severe regulatory sanctions. The letter is with immediate effect. Yours faithfully, Bailo Hassan, Director of Banking Supervision. Now, I don't think... I personally don't know how authentic this is. But if this is authentic, then I'm personally disappointed. This is the first time for me personally, as a human being, this is the first time I give up officially on Nigeria. This is that time. You see, when we had the NSAS, Police brutality is something that the whole world experiences. It is, it is something that has been going on for a while. I saw it as a stumbling block. I saw it as a, um, a speed bump. I didn't see it as what Nigeria could not overcome. Even the herding issues... Herdsmen this, uh, Amotekun this, uh, Sunday Igboho this, or Neovife that. I felt that it was something that could be revolved, resolved. Yes, Nigeria is unsafe at this point because of all these activities and all these going on. But I just felt that. These are things we could work out as a people and eventually come to a consens consensus. But when I saw this, I give up. It shows that NSAS is not a stumbling block. It is, it's not a uh, speed bump. It shows that the herdsmen crisis is not a speed bump. bump. You know why? Because we are going nowhere. It is when you are going somewhere that something is a speed bump. It is when you have a future that you are heading towards that headsman is a speed bump that is slowing you down. NSAS is the bad road that is stopping you from moving at your preferred velocity. But now I have realized that all those things are part of our quagmire. Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies are the future. How do we denounce a future? The only thing that can make a people denounce a future is when they are not going into it. How can you tell us that the risk is on our head? Tell us that if you put money in Bitcoin, anything happens to you, now you know. Oh yes, they are dangerous in it. People can run away with your Bitcoin. Okay, we know. What options do we have? My papa no get cow. To say my papa no get cow, I for don't day badon since since I hear this news. I for don't day with my papa for a badon. If for give me some of in cow, I go carry one long stick. They follow the cows. They come for express. As we they come from that express, anybody farm where we meet for road, we go chop the farm. They go because that seems to be the only future. 
Nigeria has to offer its citizenry. How did we get here? How did we get leaders that are allergic? Do you know there are hublos that you can only buy with Bitcoin? In Romania, in Babe, when was that time I went to Romania? The last one. No, no, two years ago is 2018. Supermarket had big signposts. We accept Bitcoin here. Meaning you could use Bitcoin to shop in a supermarket as of 2018. What have you created for your citizens? We cannot all push cow. You need to come to that realization. All of us know if we buy stick, they follow Malu. In no possible. In a world that is evolving, where there are emerging markets, how have we decided to embrace backwardness as our nation? I have always, let me tell you something. As Someone who was born 45 years ago. As someone who grew up during the first Obasanjo regime, during Shagari's regime, during um, Buhari Idiagbon, then Babangida, then Abacha, in between them was Shonekon. All the way here, I have known one thing. No government is worse than the other or better than the other. All of them are the same. But with this Bitcoin, I have lost hope in this government totally. I have always seen all the gimmicks. The last government will make fun of this government. When this government goes out, they'll make fun of the next government coming. Is it? I've seen it. I was born in the 70s. I was a kid in the 80s. I remember the Buhari idea more cool, like it was happening yesterday. My father just ran into the house and said, put on the radio, put on the radio, put on the radio. All of us were looking at him. What's wrong with this one? We put on the radio. We started hearing uh, announcements. I remember the Mamanvatsa coup that tried to oust the Babangida regime. I remember it like yesterday. My uncle Joel was on the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. They were turned back everywhere, panic everywhere, scatter. Would I say that the Shagari regime was better than the Obasanjo regime, or the Buhari regime was better than the Shagari regime, or the Babangida regime was better than the Buhari regime, or the Abacha regime was better than the Babangida? It's all been. Listen, eh, Baba, if you sabi fly aeroplane. If you go inside FD, I'll be waiting the column. You get one button for descent. I wish I could show you this thing. Once you just hit that button, descend now. The plane just begins to configure itself for descent. What does it mean? It means the plane is going down. So I think 1960, we were cruising at our top of climb. TOC. That's the top of when you finish your climb, you get to your top of climb and you begin your cruise. We inherited this country cruising. We did not climb. We did not take off. Sorry, we did not taxi. We did not take off. We did not climb to get to our cruise. They handed a country that was cruising to us Nigerians. The country was in, was configured for cruise. 35,000 feet. Point eight mark we were blowing as of that time we were supplying 40 percent of the world's palm oil today we are importing we i was talking to taste board's mom she was telling me about groundnut pyramids she was telling me about her going to her uncle's farm and learning how to tap rubber that they were exporting rubber. She was telling me the whole story. Like four days ago, I just called her. She was just giving me the gist that it comes out white. Then it takes the shape of the container. You put it in. Then you take 
I never knew all this. She just gave me the whole gist. Then you now take all those, it now hardens, you now take the um the hardened rubber to the factories who will now process it, blah 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 blah. Where is our rubber today? So the moment they gave us this country, the first thing we did was we went to that FDI. I mean, what's that they call this thing? I, inside aeroplane. Where there is your where your legs, your route, everything is configured. I need my pilots in the house. Jigga, oh, you know, go day here. Feel like saying I FDI. So somebody just went, touched the scent, the scent page just opened. Then you just hit that uh, descend now. Boom, once you hit that descend now, you go see your throttle begin the retard. So what we did was the moment Nigerians got into power and took over from the so-called wicked Oyibos, the first thing we did was we just hit descend now. Right now, Nigeria is no longer descending. We have entered what you call a short final. We are configured for landing. And this landing that we are configured for, I am not sure we have landing gear. So it's either we belly land or we crash land. Because we've been descending since 1960. Somebody, they ask me, why they always sweat? Why you no get sense? You inherit them. Oh yeah, come on, they go, come on, they go, come on, they go. Dope poop. Lack of sense, we person inherit. I'm talking about something that is so important to us and you expect me to be sitting down eh, and be chilling and yeah, yeah, we... Now, silhouette challenge, they tell you, I won't come do here. They tell you, say, now, silhouette challenge, I won't come do. Make our own red light, begin to do like this for you. Before you go get sense, they go, they go, they go, they go. No be your kind, they here. If I know so sweat... Waiting again. Inside this matter where they ground. Everything. You see, when you are climbing, you are going to a destination. When you are cruising, you are moving. When you are descending, you are going to land. We've been descending since 1960. Now, as you are descending, you'll be passing legs. If you sabi aeroplane, you go to pass from one leg wave point to the other, to the other till you get to your. Now so it be. Each government was a wave point. When we reach there, the plane go turn face the next government as we program them put for our autopilot. <laughs> right now, we they look the wrong way for our front. We no get landing gear. We no get petrol. We no get parachute, and we they go there. The one thing that was fueling this economy or this generation of backwardness has been cryptocurrencies. That's where the hope of the future is. Somebody said without ILS, you don't get that feeling. No, we even get ILS. But, but, but nothing with ILS feed. Do ILS go pop petrol inside your tank? ILS go pump your tire away on less for your landing gear. Be the landing gear we no even grip come out. Because the, the person where they give contract to fix the landing gear, don't use the landing gear money, build house for village, do party. Inside the party, like 10 people die of COVID. Who you want even want go hold? So we are going down. I wouldn't say I believed in this government before, but I just knew the tricks. The government and last government were all the same. They are, they are a wave point, different wave points, different legs in our path towards our landing because we're going down. <laughs> so because the last government was slightly higher than this government does not mean that the last government was better than this government. It means that, you see, if you want, I wish anybody understands this thing I'm trying to say with aviation. Oh, where are my, where are my pilot, piloting people? You see, once you just hit that descent, the plane is now configured to begin descent. So it is still going to pass all these places you are passing. And if it gets to point A 
or point A at 25,000 feet, there's a level of descent it has to achieve between this point and the next point. So if the next point is supposed to be 15,000 feet, it's going to descend from 25,000 feet to 15,000 feet. So those here are saying they are higher than those at the 15,000 feet. No, you are all on the path. It's going down. It's been going down since 1960. We've been descending. We've passed through your wave point at a higher altitude. It doesn't mean you are doing better. Let's tell ourselves the truth. So we just they go surely and steadily to the point where we're no longer in the um, rubber scheme of things. We're no longer in the ground knot scheme of things. We are no longer in the Coco scheme of things. We even used to have Pojo assembly plant in Nigeria. We don't even have assembly plant in Nigeria again. All these things we had. We had Nigerian Airways. We don't have. All of the wave points, from wave point to wave point, from leg to leg, we are descending. We are descending. And now we have gotten to a point where you see, let me tell you something here. If a plane touches down, even tire don't touch down, it can initiate a go around as long as it has not initiated reverse thruster. Once you Reverse like this, finish. You must land that landing. Even if not fire there in front of you, you must land inside that fire. We don't even activate our reverse thruster down. <laughs> so there's no to, no go, go no toga. We are going down. <laughs> eh? How did we get here? How did we miss the opportunities? Now, all of a sudden, do you realize that Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are putting Nigeria in the market? If you Google Bitcoin by country, seven countries with the world's most Bitcoin holders. Let me count down from number seven. Number seven, South Korea. Number six, Switzerland. Number five, Japan. Number four, Spain. Number three, China. Number two, Romania. Globally. Number one, the USA. Small, tiny Romania. Why are we never inside this kind of list? Small, tiny Romania with 20 million people. While we were producing children, they were producing Bitcoin. The second country with the largest Bitcoin holders. Our opportunity to enter here because we've got the smart minds. Oh, let me tell you. We've got the minds in Nigeria. But all of a sudden, we're losing this. Because now some data are showing, like if you read Bitcoin.com, Peru, India, Indonesia, and Nigeria are among countries with the highest crypto usage increasing.
Peru, India, Indonesia, and Nigeria are among the countries with the highest increase in crypto wallet creation based on data from blockchain.com, which has over 52 million wallets created by users worldwide. Nigeria has been the most trending country in recent months, with a 60% increase since April. So, Nigeria, for the first time, in something that is not prayer or fasting, because if it's prayer or fasting, we are second only to Afghanistan. For the first time, we don't they raise head for where global powers they play. And instead of our government to fund it, our government... According, I pray that this news is a lie so that I can come tomorrow and say, sorry, they said it's a lie. We made a mistake. The way this country is going, I go soon begin to collect tithes. I don't know if they teach this word of God. Make I not collect tithes. Because we like to say that one day legal too. Tight and cow. So here's my plan. If they not reverse this Bitcoin thing, from next month, I go begin to give on my account number. Anybody will come our online church, go pay tight. If you don't pay tight, I go begin to put costs for your head. As I collect the tight money from you, because it's legal. As I collect the tight money from you, I go come go use and buy many cars. Oh. I go buy long stick. You could just see me for Lekki Ekpe Expressway. Just hail me anytime you see me for Lekki Ekpe Expressway. Say, hey, Daddy Freeze. I'll just answer you him. Now, where will they go with that? Make I one on a down. You don't see me, I know Sabi I give you. Because if we they trade Forex, they trade Bitcoin, they say they illegal. And tighten they legal. And I must work. Ah. Which day will not go start to collect tight? Think I'm now. Reason I'm. Forex with Daddy Freeze and Bookie go turn tight collection with Daddy Freeze and Bookie. <laughs> For then we go move on to we go do our tight collection on Wednesday. Then on Friday, cattle rearing with Daddy Freeze and Simply Vic. How to rear your cattle. So, Wednesday, me and Bookie go to collect tithes. Friday, me and Simply V go to buy cow. They learn how to collect cow. They learn how to shoot gun. Because, all oh, follow, if you want to carry cow, you must learn gun. So, now, so Nigeria won't come be now. Make una red deal. I don't want to hear any nonsense. So, when I go pay this title, as soon as I don't pay them before, when I not die. When I go still pay this one again, then all of us go to buy a cow. Your ninety percent you go use and buy your own cow. The ten percent where you give me, me I go join and to other people ten percent. I go use and buy many cow. All of us go to meet for Lekki Ekpe Express where we go pack our moto. All of us go carry stick for neck like this. They hail our say, Hey Vic, how far? <laughs> how you doing, Victoria Yama? Oh, you are here with your own cow. Oh, well done, well done there. Eh? All of us go rugged together. As we see, say this country no get where they go. Where we they? At least we go chop nama. Abi? We go chop suya. Abi? We go drink burukutu. We go chop kilishi. We go day okay. So the future of Nigeria lies in getting your cows and collecting your tithes. So all of you, if you open church, make a just open church down quick, quick, cool, because tithes, they legal. You go collect them. No, but you know, if they know they even collect tax inside. So whatever you collect as tithes, now you get them. And if they ask you, Daddy Freeze, why are you eating the tithe? Oh, I will quote Bible for them. I'll say, do not muzzle an ox while it is treading. Do not muzzle the ox. He who walks at the altar will eat at the altar. I will quote, bring ye the tithe to the storehouse, Malachi 3, 80 to 10, so that there will be Food, Irona, ni food, call meat, ni meat, cow meat, so that there will be cow meat in my father's house. Uh, uh, since Namibia, na papa, daddy freeze, 
inside my house make meat day, aka cow. Now when I drive, they go. Me, I don't see him as future. I don't want to talk. Say this year one rugged. CBM, make gonna use brain. Make gonna use brain. Uh -huh. Make gonna just tell everybody. It's me they go. They buy their Bitcoin. They don't put them out. It's not not spoil this government for these people where they struggle already. Not spoil their government for them. Eh? Please. By the way, since cow business is marketable, make gonna buy cow. I don't they use to tell you, even if this Bitcoin they return, make gonna just buy cow, put for one side. We're not gonna need the cow where this country they go. Now cow sure. If they're not ban this Bitcoin this year, they go ban it next year because we not get where we they go. Remember, say I tell you, say we don't hit the send mode. And we not get plenty petrol, so we know fit toga. We they go land oh. And anywhere where we land, now there we be oh. Since nineteen sixty. Now descend mode, we don't deal. We've been configured to descend. Our aeroplane. <laughs> and I don't hear, I don't talk my own. Bye bye. I want to go chop food. CBM. Make una use brain. Think this thing we wanna want to do. Make una borrow brain. All these countries where they do Bitcoin. They know what's pass also. They say that they fund terrorism. My mother is from Romania. I left my phone charging in the public airport toilet for two hours. I forgot. I came back there. My phone was there charging. Nigeria, your phone there, your pocket, they don't come out. We, they talk of waiting that they use fund terrorism. If Romania, we get the second global holding of Bitcoin, they no use and form terrorism there. Now here, it means say anything we get, cow self, not terror. You know, they, they, they know they use cow form terrorism. How oh, you can I think I'm simply Vic say get past one jump go away. All of us are inside. Hold everybody inside. Everybody hold yourself. As this plane is going down, we are going down with it. We will land with this plane. Nobody's jumping anywhere. You are inside this plane with us. Better go buy your cow. I don't want you down. Goodbye. Take care. God bless you. I want to go chop these boards. I go see you now tomorrow. Now preach. I won't come preach here before. I just want one on a down. Say the preaching where you go to hear from tomorrow. If this Bitcoin no return, say pay your tight so that things will not be tight. So that God will open the window of heaven and there will be meat in my house. Aka cow. Think I'm uh -huh. Bye.